Uh, Raouf from Nigma Galaxy wow. as well. Kagendra is trying to ch uh, charge up on RRQ. So, man, the kill fit is, do I mean, lighting up at this point. Murnat Boy, again, with his amazing nade, just uh, tries to uh, put down the rest of Nigma Galaxy. Master Ichi with a UMP9. Uh, he's doing a massive counter, but couldn't seem to find uh, his opponents just yet. But hey, the fight is not over, and they are trying to flush out Nigma Galaxy out of this building. Well, the fight has to end soon because the circle moved away and Murnat knocks out Freak again with another nade. Lord will be on the second floor picking up his teammate Ralph and now Ralph is back up and Lord will buy time by opening a molly at the doorstep. And Lord goes down but immediately oh. taken up and for life from Aegon IA from the other hill. Good anticipation, I guess, coming from Falak. I mean, he knows where uh, exactly his opposition will be coming out from. So, good spot right there. Genesis Esports, we still got Zai and Murnat Boy currently knocked down. So, Rauf is cooking up the snade to uh, shut down a Master Ichi. But it looks like they're going to be going for the pickup right here. But Rauf is getting ready to charge. He still has that nade in his hands. Can he do it? Oop, he completely missed that one. Oh, Rauf now. Oh, that nade could land. Oh, no. Raul could come before the other side, and Raul takes out Genesis Esports. He was revived by his teammate, and that paid dividend by Nigma Galaxy, not only surviving, but pocketing two extra points. Yeah, that if a nade explodes right up in front of you, it masks the footsteps. Right? It's something that, uh, an exciting thing to watch considering that uh, we are looking at three players remaining onto the side of T2K. Doki is very low in HP, so not quite sure if uh, he has a uh, first aid kits, but Rocky, come on, man. You don't turn your back on a fight. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, Baboa Rocky doesn't run away from a fight. He would take it face on. But maybe that's a reminder to him if he can be revived that he will come back stronger. Running up the stairs, running down the stairs as his routine. But anyway, that's something else. But here we go. T2K still not letting go of more of GPS even though they're in the circle. Uh, one of the best fraggers, Clan, coming from Morph GPX right here. He, on the way to uh, save his uh, teammate. But is T2K gonna let this happen they're still pretty much busy dealing with pepeng down below so i guess that would give a little bit of time to morph gpx to go for that um reviving situation for the teammates right here but hail joker not smiling right now because frenzy of kakendra has uh, shut him down from that angle yeah Ever wonder how I got these scars? It's from Frenzy knocking him down. And it's not letting go the rest of his opponents in front of him. Kill Esports! Pasija E was just below him as well. So he's trying to gather elimination points but can't get a good clear shot. And this is the thing about like, yes, Kagendra has the nice high ground, but the the more they shoot, like uh the the lesser their utilities goes uh lesser their bullets goes and uh, they don't have any way to rep replenish uh their how much uh you, you how much spray you're gonna give to uh, the opponents and down especially when you're on top of the mountain there's really no way for you to go down and replenish your stuff right there red face however coming from procedure evos just made a uh, essential knockdown up against hail right here therefore putting up you know, an elimination point, not just for him, but for the whole team. But Misery, oh man, he is already back there in the lobby. Oh yeah, he is out. Oh, Cleon as well. Looks like Morph GPX falling apart to T2K. And Pepeng on his knees. Now Morph GPX, only one player left. Look, and T2K is winning the fight. T2K, at the same time, they are not only managing Morph GPS, but they are also managing Hail Esports and Pasija Esports by sending out Example or XMPL to take care of them, sending out warning shots and moving away. I mean, that's a cheeky move from him. Mm -hmm. And a chance for him to uh, acquire points, so he wouldn't let go of that angle, definitely. And uh, so that's how it's uh, it's read. It's example, XMPL. Okay, uh, I'll take note of that one. But yes, nine teams remaining. We've got Persija Evos uh, struggling a bit because this is a, an uphill battle, right? If we're going to be considering where they will be coming from, they're down below uh, Hail Esports. 
So how they're going to be climbing up, that's uh, something to uh, watch out for. But then again, we also have to consider the fact that there are only two players left on the side of uh, Hale. So again, it's not impossible for them to actually put down Hale from uh, that exchange. But Kagendra trying to deal with uh, a team also down below them, and that team is RRQ. Oh, RQ fighting up your battle here, literally against Kagendra, but they managed to make themselves on top. Ooh! That is all a babe. That name from Moscow takes down Hexas, and now there's only Asa left that they need to deal with, and Zero is healing himself up. Asa is just right in front of him. The moment he heals up, he will charge onto Asa. High guard bodies onto him, but Asa will take the first shot, and Zero Ooh. almost becoming a Zero, but at the end of the day, he became the hero instead. Yeah, that was a close call, though. Big risk on the side of Zero. But yes, I mean, to be fair, Azad didn't have that much choice, really doesn't even have that much space as well. So it was a crucial uh, so down two players of T2K. Wow, can you make that three right now? Just right in front of him, the last member of T2K. If we can pull off an insane clutch, it's going to be huge for Mob GBX. And Rocky is going to be the star of the show. But before we announce that, we got to keep an eye on Rocky's performance. Rocky now going up against Jane. 1v1. Jane's know exactly where he is. Rocky prepping himself up. And Jane is making the move. Getting closer and closer to Rocky. And Rocky! Oh. Ah, ah, almost, almost. But good work from Jane. Okay, Eye of the Tiger. Q out. All right, Jane T2K <laughs> uh, was able to uh, amazingly pull off a big win right there. Therefore, T2K still has a chance to grab on that winner, winner, chicken dinner, even though they are left with just one player. I mean, a lot of things can still happen, right? With one wrong move, it can be, you know, deadly for any of the teams that is still playing inside stage number eight. And it's a rampage. Uh, as it seems, coming from Kagendra, considering their location as well, right? They they, they have the upper hand. Yeah, uh, honestly, I do agree. I don't see Kagendra actually dropping this at this moment. Uh, the only team that has the closest number is going to be... Well, now the only team, literally, is going to be Pasija Evos now mm. that T2K is out. If you kind of look at the position, Pasija Evos, they don't seem to be able to climb up at all. I mean, honestly, this area of the map, this circle is very rare. Maybe even some of the teams are not too familiar with it. Yeah, I mean, look at that, right? Kagendra obviously has this one in the bag. Just, they if they do too much aggression, then that could be uh, quite dangerous, you know, for the rest of the team. As we can see, Zero is a half on HP while dealing with the Wonder Twins. So, man, Persija Evos, they still have quite a chance to actually uh, defend themselves, but not right now because Zuxi has now been shut down. Yeah, and make that uh, shut down again. <laughs> like, again, yeah. uh, honestly, if I were to look at it from an aerial view, the CJ was doesn't have any space to play with. Yeah. Like there was no way they could climb up. Even if they want to like rotate to the left or the right, it's already enclosed by the blue. So. It